Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome, and thank you for stopping by the Meadows Elementary Virtual Library. I'm Miss Carter, your librarian aide, and I will be reading to you today. Put your listening ears on. We have a great read called Yasmin, the Librarian, written by Sadia Faraku and illustrated by Hatim Allah. So, you guys ready? It's a good one. Let's begin. Chapter 1, The Helper Yasmin's class lined up to go to the library. It was the last hour of the day. Everyone was tired, except for Yasmin. She was excited. She had a book to show the librarian, and it was her day to be helper. Come in, come in, called Mrs. Coco, the librarian. The library is waiting for you. The library was big and sunny. There were shelves of books everywhere. Yasmin, what's that under your arm? Mrs. Coco asked. I brought my favorite book to show you. It's about cats. My baba gave it to me, Yasmin said. <laughs> She's excited. See the cats on the book? Mrs. Coco, Coco's desk was piled high with books. How nice. We'll look at it after our library work is done. She smiled at Yasmin. I see that you're my helper today. If we work together, we can put all the books back in no time. Yasmin nodded. I'm ready to work. Wow, that's a lot of books, look. Chapter two, busy with books. Mrs. Kogo showed Yasmin how to shelve books. The storybooks go in order by the author's last name, Mrs. Kogo said. She showed Yasmin the alphabet signs on the shelves. As long as you know your ABCs, <laughs> you'll be fine. You guys think she knows her ABCs? I think so. She loves to read, so I'm sure she knows her ABCs. Yasmin pulled, piled all the books in a cart and began shelving. A, then B, then C, all the way up to Z. She even found an author with the last name Ahmad, just like her. Wow. Emma walked up. Yasmin, I can't find the book I want, she complained. She's mad. She got her arms all folded. Yasmin checked the author's last name. It started with a G. Right here, Yasmin pointed. Thanks, Yasmin, Emma said. When the books were all shelved, Mrs. Kogo asked Yasmin to tidy up the tables and the chairs. Ally needed help too. Yasmin, do you know where the bookmarks are? He asked. Yasmin found the box on Mrs. Kogo's desk. Here you go. She's a good helper, isn't she, guys? Finally, all Yasmin's tasks were finished. Now she could show Mrs. Kogo her special book. But where was it? Yasmin realized she didn't have it anymore. My kitab. She felt like crying. Where was her book from Baba? Oh, she's upset. Chapter three, the special book. Yasmin took a deep breath and looked around. She worked in so many places in the library. How would she find her book? She would have to go back to each one and look. That's right, she shelled books from A to Z, didn't she? Wow. First, she went to Mrs. Coco's desk. The box of bookmark, bookmarks was there, but no special book. Then she went to the shelves. She checked each section, A through Z, no special book there either. Oh, goodness, where's her book? Oh, no! Had someone accidentally taken it? Suddenly, Yasmin heard Mrs. Kogo's voice. She was talking about animals. Hmm, you think she has it, guys? A cat is an animal. Yasmin turned. Her class was sitting on the carpet. Story time had started. Mrs. Kogo was reading Yasmin's special book from Baba. She hurried toward them and found a seat next to Emma. <laughs> Yay! Yasmin, this book is fantastic, Emma whispered. 
Cats are so cool. I know, Yasmin whispered back with a smile. Soon the bell rang. Mrs. Kogo stopped reading. Thank you for sharing this book with the class, Yasmin. But we didn't get to finish it, Ali said. <laughs> He's mad. I have an idea, Yasmin said. I'll let Mrs. Kogo borrow my book for the week. Then everyone will have a chance to read it. Miss Coco smiled. You make a great librarian, Yasmin. <laughs> the end. Oh, that was kind of her to share her book. What a great read, guys. I hope you enjoyed the book. Can't wait to see you the next time you come back. Please join us. We'll be right here waiting for you. Have a great day and make sure you're reading. Okay? <laughs>